What it do, what is up, my B-Boss baddies and my bad mom fellas. It is your girl, Bozana, and welcome, B-Boss Army. So, as you guys can tell by the title, y'all been waiting for this one. Well, a lot of the fellas that been requesting, I know you guys been waiting and I'm here. I have a key major thing that I need you guys to take from this video to go ahead and change your texting game. And we're going to be talking about the things that you guys can do to go ahead and make her want you after you go ahead and take her, take her, text her, sorry, text her like this. And hopefully maybe at the end, you might just get her wanting you a lot more, maybe just chasing, maybe a little sprinting or just a jog behind you wanting you now, okay? So please give this video a big thumbs up. And I do have two other channels. If you guys just wanna know more about your girl, see how my lifestyle is and all that stuff, I do have that on my other channels, links down below. If you haven't given this video a big thumbs up, please do that. And finally, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, fellas, texting is not complicated with women. You guys make it complicated. And first rule is that you don't make texting to be a major primary um, go-to thing. And that's one of the biggest reasons why a lot of fellas are actually already failing with texting because they're already relying and depending way too much on texting. So first things first, I really need you guys to go understand, go ahead and understand that you guys are obviously completely different than women. And it might sound bad, but certain things women can do, you guys can't do. And it's the truth. Once you understand understand the truth you kind of just got to know how to work around it you know or you kind of just step back that's when you guys get to decide how you want to be with the red pill to stuff right and so if that's the case now we kind of know with women they could dry text and get away with it they cannot text you back and get away with it they could go weeks and months or even for some guys that tolerate a lot more than the other guys they could literally be disrespectful through text or say crazy things and say that they don't mean it or maybe just treat you like a simp like you're number five out of the 10 guys at least actually that's not bad that's 50 percent but let's, I didn't mean to say 10. Let's just say you're number five out of the five guys. Yes, that's bad. So let's go ahead and jump into that one thing. For all my fellas don't, that don't watch until the end, I would advise you guys to today, but I will go ahead and tell you guys that number one thing. And that is the way you will go ahead and get her to want you or even want you back is going ahead and living a double secret. I know it sounds like, what, but son, what? What are you guys doing? Like, I don't want to do all that. But listen, it's not complicated. Did I not start the video saying that texting is not complicated? When I tell you this, if you make it complicated, it will be complicated. Let's make it uncomplicated, you guys. So now this next thing and the number one thing, that crazy thing that just some guys overlook and feel like, oh, I don't really need to do. It won't be such a problem. What you guys can go ahead and what? Go ahead and do that woman wants you guys to do that makes them just be like okay what is it about you or what else did you do or what are you doing now is living that double secret life and it's in the sense of you are a new brand new new unknown man it's all about making this woman not know a single thing about you whether she feels like she knows your whole backstory where you're from isaiah hybrid or david daniels or john burns i don't know who you are but if she knows your whole government name and she feels like she knows you like the back of her hand, fellas, or is it the front? I don't know the saying right now. But however, you guys, this is your chance. I'm not going to really talk too much about control. I love you guys. For my fellas that know me, I love talking about control. But I'm not going to save it for this video. But everything will always sink back to control. And this is another reason why when we'll come back afterwards, once you guys go ahead and live this double secret life. Now, this double secret life, so we can go ahead and get into it. It's really about you guys being the best of the best and being what this woman never expected you to ever be. So your key thing when you guys are texting is to make texting to first be something that's never really happening. You guys got to get that if you're truly a man that's busy on your purpose, you will not. And I mean this, right? Because it's just common sense. And it's also, you'll know, go live it. If you're living it or you lived it before, you'll know. So if you are in that case, busy, always on your grind, hustling, working so hard, how do you manage to have so much time to text? So number one thing that tells you right there, I'm sorry if that's loud, but I need you guys to wake up right here to hear this. What does that tell a woman right there? That you're a liar. 
So you guys make it complicated because you guys are not being really true to yourself and then making texting to be important, of course. But you guys got to understand that the more you're trying to tell her, convince her, make a message to be delivered, right, through texting, of course, the more you're trying to do all that, it's only pushing her further away from you because she knows the truth. And this is where I say where a woman will know who you are or know what you're about or know you for who you are and all these things. But a lot of fellas kind of act like that's okay if she does because she'll see that I'm actually on my purpose eventually or she'll see on the weekend or when I see her, she'll see how much of a smart guy I am because I'm going to tell her about this and that. No, 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 no. It's not that she needs to see because you're going to go ahead and make these promises or tell her or she needs to understand that you can't be like this. No, it's going to be she'll know. And that's the difference. Once again, let's uncomplicate things and make it as simple as making her know instead of her seeing it. Yes, seeing it, she needs to see it. But I'm saying the seeing for a lot of women, what's becoming seeing is all through texting, right? And you guys got to get it like this. A lot of you guys don't get to a date, a second date. You guys don't even get to seeing her at all like you guys and if you do get to see her you guys don't have the best experience so if it's already that hard texting is already gonna be like one of the things that's gonna actually be a barrier for a lot of you fellas to get close to her or to pursue her or to actually go somewhere with her so when you guys eliminate or decrease texting right instead of inc increasing and a lot of you guys think it's increasing because well you know what i told her that i was busy all day and then I was busy all day, but then when I texted her, I told her that I did all this all day. You don't even need to do all that. Once again, you guys are making it complicated. So now let's go ahead and move on. For a lot of you fellas, knowing that you guys can't get that second part, you guys might be struggling right now, or if you guys are trying to figure out moving forward what you guys should do, if you know texting is just that difficult, you have to make sure that you're going to make it complicated on her end instead of making it complicated on your end when you know that texting is already not something that should be that important. Texting should be just something that you fall back on. And so now when you treat it like that, you start making women understand that this is your type of value or this is what you value. And so if you value your time so much, fellas, if you're on your grind, once again, if you're really on that track that you claim to be or you feel like, oh, I don't get why these women don't text me back or she doesn't text me back. If you feel all these things, but you're going ahead and showing different things through texting, she'll never believe that. And so I want to go ahead and move on to kind of make it more easier and understanding for a lot of the fellas that are understanding that, yes, I need to be on my purpose. I need to show her that I don't have time to be texting her. I need to make sure when I do text her, it's not about, oh, all the things that I've done, but more of, okay, well, I had a good day and then we'll talk again tomorrow. And then when I see you, I'll maybe catch you up. So the next thing that I want you guys to get is just that right there. You are trying to get to see her and get to know her in person. So when you guys are texting, communicating back and forth with women, your job is trying to just make it to be a hi and bye type of thing. So I remember a long time ago, I talked about how, you know, some fellas do the texting in the morning and the afternoon. Now, texting in the morning and the afternoon is good. Like if you have a woman that's actually serious about you or a woman that claims like she doesn't like games, she's going to want that in a sense of like, okay, well, what were you doing in the morning? Or why aren't you text me in the morning now not that you guys need to do this or i would really recommend you guys to go ahead and make sure you text her in the morning but now it's the levels so when you guys start in the beginning with talking to a woman you're not texting her good morning and good night this is for now when you guys are serious and she's gonna text you good morning or good night or when you do text her good morning she's actually giving you a good morning back or giving you the same type of energy in some form so the reason why a lot of you fellas can't text good morning and good night is because you guys are doing it way too soon, okay? Now, past the good morning and good night, y'all are jumping straight into trying to get to know her so quickly or get to know the most out of her. Fellas, I gotta tell you guys, the truth is, nowadays in today's society, it's gonna take so much more than just texting. Now, if you guys got status and money, if you guys have things to back it up, different things that can fill other areas for this woman to go ahead and feel the way you feel like she should, then okay, cool. You can get away with nearly almost anything nowadays, right? Because women can overlook things. Of course, never sin, but most of the time, guys don't have to worry about simping because those girls are already already into them really into them but of course once again you gotta of course make sure you have your purpose and everything aligned so now fellas <clears throat> 
trying to get to know her through texting you're trying to get her to want to know you in person you know what i mean a lot of times you guys get this girl to be comfortable with texting and so you'll ask her more questions you'll ask her all all these things about her what what do you like or how do you want this first date no 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 the, the alpha guys, the high value men, they don't even got time to really even ask these questions. And so when they do, and this is how you have to treat it, you don't got the time. I don't care if you just got a job and now you're a little bit more busy, but you still have the time. You don't got the time. Also, you fellas have to treat the life that you have. And this is why I say you're living a double life in a sense of that you're living a completely new life of she doesn't know that you're doing so, so, so well and boom. When you blow up because you haven't told her nothing, she sees that, oh my gosh, you're doing 10 times better. So this double life is not nothing bad, you guys. It's the things that the woman want these guys to be doing that they want. And those are the guys that are the alpha guys. That are the guys that you guys may look up to or already know about. Or it might just be you, but you might have been slipping, slacking a few times. And so now I want to go ahead and, you know, we're getting close to the end of the video. I want to go ahead and say, fellas, texting, you got to understand that you're going to have to have some sort of game and, and some sort of personality and charisma to it when you do want to actually have a conversation or when she's actually texting you properly, right? Actually, like, giving you full answers or giving you, like, actual, let's say, texting communication, good texting communication skills, so if you guys want to get to that point, once again, fellas, you guys got to make sure that your life, your life, your life is about you, is about what you say you really are about, and that it only shows through texting because you don't have to say it, because you don't have to tell her that, okay, I've been busy all day, and you know, my job is so busy, and I was doing this and that. No, 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 no I, had a, I had a good day, you know, and now I'm relaxing, okay? Hop on FaceTime. You guys got to get that. Also, a lot of these alpha and high value men, they know how to be confident enough to step into the next thing that should be the next thing. So the next thing, of course, would be wanting to see her in person and stuff like that. But texting, ultimately, especially when you're in a relationship or especially when you guys are not together, right? A lot of times, it's a lot of things through back and forth, right? So if a lot of times there's a lot of things through back and forth, fellas, are you following me? That means that you got to get to a point where you're speaking to her, where words are coming out now. Once again, you don't need none of this. I'm typing and I'm letting you know. Because a lot of times these girls know you're lying. And you guys are actually lying. And also, if you are not lying, it still doesn't matter. A lot of alpha guys or high-value high men can get caught slipping when they want to be a little bit more friendly through texting that one time. And so now when you get to the point of actually FaceTiming <clears throat> the next steps, right, or getting on the phone call, those are the times where you'll show her why she should be interested. You'll show her that you're a chill, cool guy. And the first thing I just mentioned, by showing her she, she, she should be, be interested is the time where you show her your charisma, your personality, what you're about. You know, this is a time where this is who you are. And if she's not about it, she's not about it, right? But y'all also have to be confident with it. And those are the guys that once they know, okay, you know what? Now I'm actually going to be talking to her. And I know I'm not always going to get, I'm not always going to talk to her. Or I'm not always going to get this chance again. This is just the facts. When you know this is how women are and this is how they treat it, then you'll just know that, okay, you know what? I'm never going to entertain the texting thing. You're still going to do it so you do have that form of communication. And some girls do value texting a little bit more than they really should. But you're really just doing it every time to keep you guys connected. And like I said, to have it fall back. And so when you have it like a fallback, it's going to be like the nights where you guys can't get on the phone. The nights where you can't FaceTime or see each other in person. You're going to just make it to be that, okay, the backup is texting a little bit. All right. You know, I had a good day and, you know, I have... A full day tomorrow whatever it is that brief talk that you guys might have that light talk that check-in type of talk as well if you guys have that done and done sealed you did that you're you're good you don't have to do nothing else after that but just live your life as that man y'all gotta get the guys that do the least are the guys that are winning and getting the most okay so if you guys do that and stop trying to make texting to be something you need to perfect with women and try to Figure out every single thing you should text to women, you'll have a better look. Now, fellas, I want to do say this. In the future, I will do more videos of like exact type of tips, certain words you can say, certain punchline. Well, not punchlines. Guess like pickup lines and all those type of things. Never recommend it through texting, really. But I could definitely tell you guys there's other things you could say that could 
be along those lines of kind of spitting game you get me? Ooh, you get me hopefully okay so that's really that yes i'll bring more videos though to help you in a different way but this is really to get you guys to get that you guys gotta stop connecting texting to be like the the main source of what she needs to know that's going on in your real life make it to be the closed door and she has to get into your real life all right that's it you guys will see me in my next video bye guys